Hey, what's up guys? I've got a quick uh, MVD Rewind collection unboxing for you. These are two, the two most recent um, uh, releases. This is number seven, as you can actually even see that there, it's all blurry. Number seven and number eight in the collection. Um, this one is called Abominable, which I've never heard of, and it's actually from like 2004, I think? 2005, it says. So it's a bit newer. And then uh, Van Damme in Lionheart, which um, is one of the better Van Damme films, in my opinion. It's not a, a, a... I don't think it's been in really very many good films, besides maybe like Time Cop, and even that's kind of cheesy. But uh, Lionheart's not a bad, bad film. Did he direct... No, he didn't direct this. Did he write this one? No, I don't think so. Nope, never mind. I'm talking my ass. Okay. But anyway, I got two to show here, so let's open up uh, Abominable first. I love, and before I do that, I well, no, hold on. Let me, let me unbox this first so we can get the plastic off here so we can get a better look at these slip covers. In fact, let me do both at the same time here. Let's do that. These slip covers are really what sells it. <clears throat> okay, you can see there. They have the same sticker. A lot of them have had the same sticker or type of sticker. Special Collector's Edition. Um, what are the other ones? I have I have some other ones here, like from uh, Winter Coney Island. Um, that one has a uh, Special Collector's Edition, but that's not Blu-ray DVD. It's just regular Blu-ray, so it doesn't say Blu-ray DVD, so that's pretty cool. Does that one say? Well, I do like that. I like the um, the wear and tear on the corner here. I know I did notice that there. I think they used the same exact graphic. For a lot of these, like, um, you can see on um, Swamp Thing, Return of Swamp Thing, it's like the exact same damage graphic they use, which is fine. It's a little lame to extent, but, um, yeah, same we're there for um, Black Eagle, another Van Damme. Where is a good one? Oh, uh, yeah. But this uh, Lionheart one looks like it's actually a little bit better. So, um... Well, not better, but it's a little different. So let's take a look at Abominable first, since that's newer. It says, don't be fine, please rewind. I love the the, the way it makes it look like it's a used VHS. And that's just a slipcover version. If the one he's run out, they're not gonna just, you can still buy the, you have the, the, the regular, what do you call it, I'm trying to say, the artwork, but it doesn't have the wear and tear of like a, of a VHS. It's like a selling feature for me, personally. And uh, just like before, um, well, I think all these come with a poster, don't they? Yeah. I wish this actually had artwork. This is kind of lame, but, um, you know, whatever. And background art would be cool, too, which is whatever. But, you know, keep costs down. This was $21, I think, when I bought this. I think it'd be a little bit cooler if it didn't have this um, MVD on there, but uh, that's cool either way. Some things are better left unfound. Maybe like a Sasquatch type thing or a Yeti. That's cool. Now for special features here. Actually, hold on. I thought I'd read this better if it was on this. It's a little bit easier to read. Um, let's see. <clears throat> I'm not going to read this, though, because i got kind of a scratchy voice right now, and I'll probably end up coughing. So if you want to read that or whatnot, just uh, pause it and take a look at it. Same with the special features here. It looks like it's the typical stuff. Um, brand new for 2K. New introduction from the director. Audio commentary. Back to genre making. Abominable feature. A lot of stuff that was ported over from the DVDs and whatnot. There's no 2005 version of Abominable. There's a updated version, huh? Hmm. Very cool. And who's in this, actually? Matt McCoy, Haley Joel. Haley Joel Osment? No, Haley Joel. Jeffrey Combs? That's cool. Paul Gleason, Rex Lynn, Philip Morris. D. Wallace is in it. D. Wallace Stone. And Lance Henderson. So he's probably in there for a second or something. 
Very cool. This is one that I'm when they actually announced this, I was very excited about because I feel like I don't get enough Sad Squash type movies that are actually like. Well, I almost said good because, but I wouldn't know because I haven't seen this, and I'm assuming it's not very good. But um, very cool, I think. MVD rewind. Let's put that over here. Let's take a look at uh, Lionheart. Very, it's the same thing. It's got uh, the be kind rewind. Same image from the first one there. Uh, when the streets are a jungle, there can be there can only be one king. So it's two day rental there. Oh, West Coast video, cool. These are actual stickers. I didn't make these up for some of these. That's pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. And same deal. If you want to actually see this, I'm not, I'm not going to read it because my voice is uh, all scratchy and whatnot. I've been coughing all day. It's been got like a cold in the middle of fucking June, which is great. But um, so that's that. And they actually released a Black Eagle. They just released. That was like the third release they had. So they're really on a Van Damme kick. That's pretty cool. This is number eight. So within five releases. And the special features. I know this one was cool because it has, I think, two cuts of the film, like an uh, an uh, extended cut or something. Let me see here. Excuse me, got burps too. Canadian. Yeah, extended cut. So original theatrical version, 104 minutes extended cut, which is 110 minutes. So it's six minutes longer, and it's also in HD. Subtitles, archival, audio commentary, new, Lionheart. The Inside Story, featuring interviews with cast and crew, co-writer, co oh yeah, co-writer, I knew he was involved in the writing. Yeah, screenplay by Jean Van Damme, see, I knew it. Oh, cool, man. The new Inside Lionheart with the filmmakers and cast, again, so there's actually a couple new features with uh, Jean Claude Van Damme, which is pretty cool. Like, I feel like this is, I don't know, I didn't go extensively in the other releases, but this one seems like it's got the most new special features, which is pretty cool. Behind the Fights, NHD too. Featuring interviews with cast and crew, including Jean Claude Van Damme, archival making of featurette, archival interview, interview, promotional clips, behind the scenes, photo gallery, chat, trailer, and collectible mini poster. So, typical stuff. It'd be nice if there was like behind uh, background art or something, but um, not typically. There's the blue and the DVD, right? Yep. And then the poster is just, I just showed you like abominable, very similar. I like that they at least do clear cases, so something differentiates them. And very tight, slim slip covers, which I do kind of like. Actually, they work out great because I use these um, uh, skinnier slip covers, or not slip covers, slip cases. These are just like the um, steel book cases I buy online, um, but they're much skinnier for like just regular Blu rays. And uh, for like regular slip covers, they still fit, but they're very tight. But like specifically something like. Um, like vinegar syndrome would not fit in these. They're too big, too thick. I actually use um, my steelbook cases, my steelbook uh, uh, protectors for my vinegar syndrome ones because they're that thick. In fact, I got some right here. I can show you. This is the the size of them, as you can see. Actually, I'll just show you quick what I do with these. It's the exact same thing as if you've seen. Put them in a in a um. Steelbook version, except they're skinnier. Shit, what the hell? I know what the hell I'm doing. Actually, is that always. That's a little dinged right there. Did I just do that? No, I don't think so. But it's kind of lame. Actually, yeah, some of the corners are kind of whatever. I ordered this from um, Amazon, not like um, Diabolic or, none of the, or Diabolic DVD or anything, so. If I want stuff that's not damaged and whatnot, I should probably order from places like that, boutique shops. But uh, I did not, though, so. So, yeah, that's what that looks like. And uh, here's uh, Lionheart. This is number eight. That was seven. This is number six. In fact, you know what? I can actually have these. Hold on a second. I think it's on the floor right here. So there's six, seven, eight, and I've got five, four, three, right? Yeah, three, two, and one. I have watched 
Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, and it was stupid as shit. I have never seen this film before. Um, and if I'm being perfectly honest, the quality wasn't fantastic. It was okay. But, uh, God, it was stupid as hell. I really would prefer if they had subtitles, too. That's just me. I haven't watched this yet, although I've heard this wasn't very good. It's no Lionheart. I, mean, I think I feel like I'd rather watch that than Blackie, although I've seen Lionheart, so I should probably watch this one if I'm going to watch one. This one I don't think I did an unboxing for, unless I don't think so. This one has the most drastically looking case, too. As you can see here, it's actually got, like, the corner ripped off, and you can see, like, the VHS, which is probably the coolest one so far. Not on the side, though, but uh, that I thought was pretty neat. Um, um, I don't think it's got any more damage, really, other than that. It says, please rewind when, when done. Thanks. Video. Just video, I guess. I'm not sure what that is. Savannah smiles, and love will never be the same. This one actually was one of the other ones that did not seem to like match the collection. I guess MD Re Re MVD Rewind is not really necessarily going to go with just action and horror. It's going to be kind of whatever they feel like releasing, which is cool too, I guess. There'll be some movies that I might watch. Um, I probably would have never bought this. I mean, I know I would never have bought this if it weren't part of the collection, but uh, I do have it now. And Return of Swamp Thing, which I did show already, so. So anyway, I don't know why I did all that, but I figured I'd show you. This is what I'm doing. Da, da, da. That is all eight of the current uh, releases. One they actually have announced. There's one coming out in July called Windraker or something like that. I'm not really sure. I think it's an Australian film. And of course, if I'm going to collect these, I may as well buy it. But I've never heard it before, and it's about like some windsurfing or something. No, I don't know enough about that one. So, but they did also announce on like last month in August they're releasing two films. I think. Wait. Well, one for sure. Shh. Oh, shit. I don't even remember what it's called anymore. Shadow something. Shadow Breaker. Shadow Breaker? Shadow Shadow Builder? That can't be right. I don't know. But it was cool because on the Facebook page, the, actual, the guy who, who runs it, he actually had you pick one of the two designs. And one was like the original, um, uh, what do you call it, VHS design. And the other one was going to be a more recent one or a different design that was not typically used. Whichever one he said picked, it was going to be the cover. The other one was going to be reversible. So either way, you'd get both. But uh, the original cover picked um, was, uh, was um, what am I trying to say? The original VHS cover was chosen. So it's like a big red picture with like a weird face on it, like a demon face. And then the other one's like a different, like darker color thing. So it was a little, it wasn't as good as the first one, in my opinion. But, uh, um, yeah. Very cool, I thought. I'm just kind of rambling now, but um, I like this this uh, this studio or whatever you call it, this this um, this uh, label. Yeah, label. That's what I'm trying to say. I like this label. I like collecting their stuff, and I'm gonna keep doing it. So, if you like this stuff, like me, collect them from them, buy them from buy it Diabolic. You can buy it obviously from Amazon, um, Best Buy probably. Um, but um, yeah, that's it. I'm just rambling now. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll have more for you later. So thanks for watching and I'll see you.